All right, so I'm just gonna make this quick video on uh, how I do recordings. Um, start out, today I'm playing a Strat with a Fat Cat P90 in the bridge and a Texas Special in the neck. It's gonna go through this uh, Tweed Deluxe. Uh, I'm not using the speaker that's in it. There's a 12 inch Jensen in it, but I'm going down to this box. Uh, it's a two by 10 on the bottom. I have a um, Celestian cream back, 10 inch. So I'll be using that. And uh, I got a Shure SM57 and that's wired up going over here to, it's a Behringer um, interface. It's a um, Euphoria UMC 404 HD. And that's plugged into the computer over here. There, so now I'm gonna open up a project in GarageBand. I'm gonna start with a software instrument just to get a drum beat. So I go down here, uh, it starts out with a piano. I'm gonna change that down here. I'm just gonna pick a drum kit. I'm gonna go down, there's a bunch to pick. I'm just gonna go Sunset to start with. Uh, then you gotta hit the little uh, scissors right there. It gives you this grid down here to work with, with like piano keys. And uh, let me turn this up a bit. There, so that's like the bass drum. So you got this grid, it's you know, one, 1 1.3, 2. So, uh, so I just do it, I do four beats in a measure. So you basically, you right click, hit create note. And I'll do that, I'll do that actually every other beat here. So I'll do it one, then 1.3, then two. Then I'll do a, um, do a little snare drum up here. Let me turn this down a little bit. Let's see. There. Do a snare drum on every other beat then. What this does is just gives me something to play along with. It's not going to be the actual drum beat in the song. Oops. One day shots rang out in there. The so here, let me uh, turn this off real quick. So then basically just gives you a drum beat to start with. There's also a, a clicker that goes along. Then I can just keep I can copy and paste this a bunch of times. Then I can go under here, edit, join. Uh, where is it here? Oh, I gotta select it first. You can select like four of these just to make it go a little faster. Edit, join regions. That makes it one big one, then I can copy that. And I'll do like four of these just to get. There, and that takes me out to like the 30 second measure then. Click here to go back. There, and that'll just give me a steady drum beat to play along with. I can even turn this clicker off. I can edit that later, but then what I'm gonna do next is uh, gonna add an instrument right here. It's hard to see with that light. So right here, uh, click the plus right there that will add an instrument. And I'm gonna do that one through the microphone. There, so now I got audio on. I'll just type guitar on there. There. So now I got a track to uh, record on and play along with the drum beat. So the video I'm going to do today is for the Dirty Haggard Audio uh, 3904 fuzz. Just a single knob fuzz, uh, gated, uh, real nice sounding fuzz. So here, I'll give it just a little taste. <laughs> There, and then uh, we'll go over here and uh, record some tracks. So I'm going to record a guitar track right now. Um, I'll have a headset on, so I'll hear the drum beat. You won't hear that. You'll only hear the guitar through the speaker. So I'll get going with that.
Okay, so now I've got a guitar track. I'm going to um, add another track, so I'm going to hit the plus microphone. Same setup, same guitar, same amp. I'm just, uh, But I'm going to move it up here. I won't, I'm going to start the solo on uh, measure 17, so I'll start recording at about 15. There'll be a little bit of a lead-in. So... Again, uh, you won't, you'll just hear me playing the solo. You won't hear any of the other stuff. But after that, I'll uh, play it to kind of see where, where it's at right now. done um just a real simple uh blue scale and e um and then i fade it out with the volume uh with the volume control on the guitar just so you don't have an abrupt end let it just fade away that's about it okay so here's where it's at so far Okay, so now I'm gonna shift gears, uh, move on to bass. Uh, this is a GNL Fallout, uh, short scale bass. Really nice for uh, someone like me, I'm a guitar player, not a bass player. So it's uh, the short scale is real comfortable. It sounds great. Um, playing into this, uh, it's a Fender Rumble 25. Um, so I'll solid state and pick these up for nothing, like 100, 150 bucks, and they're great for recording. Sound really good, so basically here's a clean tone and then uh, buzz sounds great on it so let's see what I can do I just want to show one thing real quick before I start recording bass um, I didn't show this earlier uh, so we're in input one here so this is the gain for input one you want to make sure you're not clipping there's a light uh, for a signal and then above it is a light if you're clipping um, you want the signal to be at a, as strong as possible without clipping so turn it down like this you can start starting to get a signal we'll turn it up like this there you gotta get a pretty good signal if you go too much then you're clipping you'll hear that on the recording so that seems to be good but right there about halfway which is usually around the area where it sounds good okay so I'm gonna record a bass track a uh, same routine add a track microphone Quick rename it bass. And uh, just doing this whole that kind of thing. So pretty simple. Make sure I got a lead in. I do. Okay, here we go. So this uh, fuzz on the bass didn't turn out how I liked. Uh, just a little too fuzzy, too much going on at once. So uh, this happens sometimes, not a big deal. Oh, here's what it sounds like. Oops, sorry, Bluetooth is conking out, but you get the idea. 
So it's not a big deal. It's actually an opportunity. I'll show. Uh, I'll. Uh, I'm gonna re-record the track, except I'm gonna go use GarageBand. I'm gonna plug the guitar straight into the interface and use GarageBand. I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna unplug the microphone cord here, and then uh, I'm just gonna take a, just a regular guitar jack, plug straight into the guitar, and plug it into there. There, okay, so I'm gonna delete that bass track right here, just right click, uh, delete track, delete. And I'm gonna add, except this time I'm going to use this one um, where you connect the guitar straight into the interface. And then here, um, just like the drums before, it gives you a bunch of choices for amps. It's on guitar amps now, but I'm gonna go Let's see, electric guitar and bass. I'm gonna go to clean bass, and I'm gonna use this uh, hi-fi die. And uh, I'm gonna re-record, re just play the same exact thing. Um, you won't be able to hear it though, so I won't bother recording that part, because uh, it's just going straight into the interface. Okay, so I think that sounds much better now. Um, here, play a little track. <laughs> the direct input bass sounds much better right now. Um, my next step will be up here on the drums. Uh, I have to make actual drum tracks rather than just a beat to follow along with. And so you do that uh, down here. This down a little. So you got this grid and you can get all different drum sounds. Cymbals. Uh, so I'll just go in literally just one at a time, just uh, plug in different rhythms. And then uh, once I do a section, let me back up here again. Once I do it like a section or two, I can uh, start copying and pasting to repeat it and then put in little fill-ins and uh, cymbal or crashes and stuff. Okay, so I've got some options here now for the drums. Um, I can either, so let me isolate it to just So I got the straight beat, so I can either, I can add a, oops, slide that over here, there. So this will add a second uh, bass kick on every other, uh, every other time. You do that or I can get rid of the first one and just have it a little bit of an offset beat. hear that with the whole band i'm just using the if you hit the headphones here um you can isolate it or if you turn it off then you hear everything so there i kind of like that so i'll stick with that and then start adding some uh Hear this sounds as a bass. There, pretty straightforward. And then, uh, so what I'll do is I'll just do some of this and then copy and paste it like all the way through and then start adding the fill ins and stuff. There, so I've got the about the first eight measures, uh, the drums all set for that. So I'm just going to delete these other ones and then copy and paste that. So let me put the where the tracker is here. Copy it. Then the tracker automatically moves up when you paste something. There. And then I'll come through later. It's it's going further than I need it, so I'll figure out where it needs to stop. I'll do that later. But so right now it's got a bass beat. There, so now I can go through and uh, I can add some symbols. Um, let's see, probably after. Let's see. Yeah. 
I'm gonna pull in right after the eighth measure. So I'll pull in like right here. Right at the start of nine, so. Listen for one. That's a good one. Right, this one right here. So I'll put this one right here. And then I'll just go through and add a few just randomly throughout. And then every now and then fill in a little uh, snare drum fill. I think I'll go just before the same place I put the the symbol. Just before that, I'll put a little uh, snare drum one. Oops. Right here. Just put two little snare drum beats right before the cymbal. There, you should be able to hear that. There, gives you a ch -ch -ch. Okay, so I uh, got the drums filled in. I want to end this at about uh, measure 27. Should be about right there, about after that drum beat. So, what I can do is uh, make sure I'm up here. So, I'm clicked on this one. I can right click and split at playhead. That turns it, this into two separate parts. And then, what I can do is just delete this one. There, now it ends right there. So. That's the end. Okay, now I'm done with most of the editing. I just want to show one more thing. Uh, I'm going to go into the guitar track right here. And I'm going to, it was on the scissors for editing. I'm going to click on this other one on the left here. It's like the dial with notches right there. That gives you into, it gives you a, an equalizer to play with. So let me isolate it so it's just this track. You can add compression if you want. You can uh, add some mid range. Whatever you want to do. You can scoop it. You can add some reverb. Um, I'm going to pretty much leave it alone. Get it back to where it was. You can even cut the lows, which is handy sometimes if um, sometimes you play and you have like too much bass, except especially if you have multiple guitars and a bass going at once. It's nice to cut some of the the low end out of it. Uh, just some options there, and then same thing with the drums. You can uh, let me stop this. You can go in and. Just go back here once. Just go right here. You can make the kick drum louder. You can adjust each one. Raise the hi-hat. And you can change the tone. Uh, you can add compression, which doesn't can't really hear that right now, but uh, just some options which are really nice. Here's the completed song. Um, this one's pretty simple, it's just four tracks. Uh, a pretty basic, pretty basic recording. Um, sometimes I get a little more involved. I'll, add, uh, I'll do stereo with the drums, so I'll actually have two drums tracks and then pan them different directions. Sometimes uh, you know, I'll have multiple guitar tracks and uh, gets a little bit more elaborate, but this is pretty straightforward. Just a simple four track for just for the purpose of uh, showing how this works. So here's uh, here's the song.
that's it about a minute and a half just uh pretty much just to show what this fuzz pedal can do um and i'll just post this and put a little bit about the pedal i won't have a lot of information on this one this is an independent builder uh similar to what nathan and jorge are doing um so there's not a lot of like history there that i that i'm aware of um but uh i just get the word out about a you know a good manufacturer and uh yeah i try to do this every week just because i love fuzz i'll show you here i got a quite a few up there that's not even all i got other ones too but got a lot to go over so hope you enjoyed it uh that's about it goodbye